Camila Valiva told how she relates to defeats, having gone through a lot in my interesting and eventful creative path, sports career, my attitude to the word loss has changed. Losing is a very relative category, depending on how you look at it. It is through losses that growth occurs and the opportunity to become even better and move forward. After even the most unsuccessful performances, you need to calmly and soberly evaluate it. Find the reasons why it did not work out, but do not focus only on bad moments, but try to find both positive and good moments. And on the next performances to balance it. Close friends also play an important role. Parents, coaches, friends and fans. Their support helps not to give up, learn a lesson from the whole situation and move on. Valiva wrote on the social network. Sofia Akativa shared her impressions of participating in the Atari Tupperids show. So the big tour of the ice show of the Atari Tupperids team champions on ice has ended, nine cities, 11 unforgettable shows and incredible emotions. Thanks to all the coaching staff for their trust and for the opportunity to become a part of this great celebration of sports and beauty. Thanks to all the participants, it was a pleasure to perform with you. Thanks to every viewer who shared these magical moments with us. Thanks to you. Each show has become special, leaving the warmest memories in my memory. Road Akativa. Figure skater Alina Jelena performed quad sal cows and toe loop in training. Jelena is 13 years old, she trains at the Evgeny Plashenko Academy. In the schedule of the Junior Grand Prix series, there is an unexpected novelty, one of the stages will be hosted by Thailand for the first time. It is difficult to imagine a place more distant from figure skating, quadruple jumps and hydroblading. Perhaps this is only India or Cyprus, where there are not even standard size competitive rinks. But is it possible to hold a top tournament in Bangkok? Seems to be yes. After all, this is not the first tropical country hosting top figure skating competitions. Bangkok will host the first stage of the Junior Grand Prix from 23 to 26 August. The exact venue has not yet been specified, but the choice is small. Most of the skating rinks in the city are located in shopping centers and are intended only for mass skating. There are only three suitable sites Theatre of Dream Warriors, International Hockey Center, Tieha, and International Training Center, Iwas. All of them are quite small. The first two have two stands with a capacity of up to 400 people and balconies from which you can watch performances standing. There are even fewer places for spectators in the third place, they were rather equipped for the parents who came to the training. For comparison, Ice and Czech Ostrava Polish Gdansk is designed for 5,000-8,000 fans. And one of the smallest skating rinks where the series has ever taken place is in Sheffield, UK, it can accommodate 1,500 people. But small arenas are not a hindrance to big starts. TIA annually hosts EuroLeague amateur ice hockey tournaments, which attract more than 50 teams. Figure Thailand Open for juniors and adults is scheduled at the Iwas Training Center in early May. So winter species in the equator region live and even develop. The only problem is high temperatures. Although August is not the warmest month in Thailand, the average daytime temperature is around 28-29 degrees. This is unusual for athletes from Europe and North America. It's hot outside, which means that the arena will be a little hotter than usual. Although this no longer seems like an insurmountable obstacle after the 2023 World Cup in Satama, where it was so warm that steam rose from the ice. Thailand has never had a top-level champion, but two years ago they had a bright junior Fatera Tita Kanishij. There is no list of stage participants yet, but we will probably see her in Bangkok. In the 2022-23 season, 13-year-old Kanishij entered the top five of the Italian Grand Prix, with 175.41 points, an impressive result, given that a total of 44 single skaters came to the start. She even hit the triple axel several times in competitions, but always unsuccessfully she didn't twist from a quarter to a half of a turn. Fateritita is trained by Tammy Gambill in Colorado Springs. The same specialist put the trixel on the Korean Yu Yong, Camden Palkinen and Vincent Zhu from the USA. 
The athlete has been working with Gambill since the age of six, so her school is American, but when choosing costumes and music for programs, she sometimes turns to the origins. In the free program last season, she skated in a dress stylized as a traditional Thai outfit. For the past four years, the Junior Series has only been held in Europe and North America, but just a few years ago it traveled all over the world. Grand Prix stages were held in Mexico, Turkey, Australia, Taipei and even in South Africa. Skate Safari in the 2008-09 season saw the future Olympic bronze medalist in ice dancing Madison Hubble, at that time in a duet with her brother Kiefer. And Piper Gills, along with Zachary Donahue, who will form other pairs on adult ice and also enter the world top. Of the South African figure skaters in Cape Town, only three single skaters performed. There is only one large skating rink in the city, and it is located in the entertainment center, along with casinos, clubs and concert venues. The arena is small, but with an original design it looks like a railway station building, in the middle of which ice was poured. Brisbane Australia has hosted the Junior Grand Prix twice, the last time in 2017. Then Alexandra Trusova went 14,000 kilometers from Moscow and won, performing the quadruple Salkal at the competition for the first time. When ISU tournaments will return to Australia is unknown. Fly to Brisbane at least 18 hours. For this reason, Australian skaters sometimes train at two bases at home and somewhere closer to Europe. For example, Harley Windsor and Ekaterina Alexandrovskaya work this way with Galina and Andri Pachin in Sydney, and Nina Moser in Moscow. The Junior Series came to Mexico three times. In 2013, 14-year-old Nathan Chen was already among the favorites there. Although few fans saw this performance, there are practically no stands at the Central Ice Arena in Mexico City. So why is the ISU all these experiments with small venues, long flights in countries where the figure skating fan base is smaller than in some European cities, apparently, for the development and expansion of Horizons. A few years ago, there were almost no international skaters in Thailand, and now there is a men's and women's team, a completely competitive Kanishij and a full-fledged national championship, and also international cups like Skate Bangkok and the first ice show Disney on ice. In Mexico in the early 2000s, it was believed that only girls were involved in figure skating, and boys refused to come to the sections. Three-time national champion Donovan Carrillo said that insults were often written to him on social networks, so he really wants to popularize this sport at home. A tournament that brings together skaters of different nationalities and styles will just help in this. The Junior Series starts on August 23rd, and adults will join the fight at the Grand Prix in the United States on October 20th. There are no experiments there yet.